Do I have a favorite Kendrick album? Um, I'd probably say mine is Good Kid, Mad City, with with a pimple butterfly to be a second probably. I didn't really like the last Kendrick album, but I'd probably Good Kid, Mad City. Section eighty was alright too. That was that was the one before it, right? Uh, I like most of his projects though. Uh, all right, let's do these contracts. Get some XP or something. Still the key, still a valuable man. Let's go do that. It's right there. Oh wait, there's one right here. Hold up. Speak to one friend. Ah, fuck that. We're going over here. Uh, his last album was Cheeks. I wouldn't call it Cheeks. I'm just gonna say it wasn't for me. I I will say. And you know what's funny? I was watching the video. This is not pertaining to Kendrick. It was a video pertaining to uh, like gaming culture. But I think this this kind of I can tie this into Kendrick. Just internet culture, period. And he was talking in the video about, like, one thing he hates about... It was about modern gaming and, like, typical gaming is dead, microtransactions, lazy game design, lack of immersion, that type of shit, right? But one of the arguments he was making is he was, like, he hates the the social aspect of gaming now in a sense that, like, everybody has, like, wild opinions and hot takes because everybody's trying to go viral. So, like, it's hard to, like, even... up. You're not even allowed to dislike it. Like, let's say something like Spider-Man 2 comes out, like, in three days, right? Most people are probably going to love that game. And you might not like that game. But he was basically saying that, like, you're not even allowed to say you dislike something. You could genuinely dislike it. You could be totally respectful about it, too. And he's like, there's, like, this social pressure to like everything that everybody else likes and be part of the conversation. And it kind of ruins art because of it and just conversations. Reviewers that gave it an 8 got hate. Yeah, like, people gave it an 8 out of 10. And people are saying that they get showing them, like, hate and shit. And that's kind of how I felt about, like, Kendrick's album. I didn't hate it, but, it, like, it wasn't my favorite project from him. But I felt like I didn't make a video about it because I felt like if I said something negative about Kendrick Lamar, motherfuckers was just going to, like, obliterate my channel. And you have to be careful about that shit, unfortunately. Because once the hate mob comes after you, they could obliterate your shit and you get fucked up in the algorithm. So, like, I have what? Same thing. I actually, I talked about it uh, several times. This is the same reason I didn't do an al uh, album review on Utopia. I've noticed that, um, what's that nigga's name? Straight up. Travis Scott fans are fucking crazy. I wasn't a big fan of that album. I just didn't want to say it. I didn't want to put it, like, I'll say it on stream, but I didn't want to put it on wax, like in a YouTube video, because I don't want them niggas all in my fucking comments down, downgrading my damn videos, bro. Even though it's just an opinion on music, because it can fuck you over in the algorithm. But there's like this social pressure to like what everybody else likes it. And uh, it can it can end up ruining your experience with a lot of things. But it, but it, but it, but. Oh. Oh, you. So who do you like? Here we go. Who who do you like then? <laughs> oh shit. In terms of newer artists, I don't really like any of the new artists. I'm an old head. I'm I've definitely reached my unk stage. My old head unk stage. A lot of the music is just kind of like, it's fast food to me. Like, it sounds good this week, but next week I don't care. And to me, that's not good music. Mm. Bruh, look at this shit, bruh. This is the best Assassin's Who? I've seen people say Assassin's Creed Mirage is the best Assassin's Creed in a long time. This climbing system is fucking ass, bruh. What is this nigga doing? Mm. How does that make sense? Like, that can't be the only sentence you say because that makes the best. <sighs> That's why I don't really watch as much anime anymore as I used to. If I don't like one anime, I'm called a hater. You could still watch it, just you can't, just don't share your opinion. It doesn't really affect you if you're not trying to part of be part of the discourse. An 8 out of 10 is still amazing. It is, though. But to some people in their brain, an 8 is an L. I don't know why, but... Extreme opinions have begun to dominate the world, the internet. Old head or young, these these new artists simply are not as good as before. Oh, they're not, but people aren't ready to have that conversation. There was an article that came out. Uh, there was an article that came out um, like a month ago talking about how like a lot of record labels and A&Rs, they don't know how to break new artists anymore. 
Motherfuckers just they suck now. They don't. They like people don't know what to do with people. Oh shit! I was about to rob him right there. Bow Wow was begging labels to do development art. Yeah, I seen that. Bow Wow tweeted that there needs to be more artist development, and I agree. Like when I was a kid, like if you're not old enough, you don't remember this. When I was a kid, because the internet wasn't big, motherfuckers didn't start off with like a super hit single. Motherfuckers had to perform at the mall. High schools and shit, birthday parties. Like, you had to dominate your city. Now you could just blow up on the internet with a song. And it's great because it gives you overnight success. But the problem with overnight success does not mean you are ready for what comes with that. And a lot of times that's what people are finding out. Just because you can make a, so a hit song doesn't mean you can make an album. Uh, doesn't mean you have a distinct sound. That's why you see none of these drill rappers really pop off. A drill single's cool, but who wants to hear an album of niggas just talking about powerful niggatry? 20 songs of I'll Spin the Block. Shut up, bro. <laughs> you don't got nothing on your mind? Deep ass voices sound like Bane. I'm in my Duffy. Yeah, shit's fire in the gym. After that, turn that shit off, bro. All right, can I assassinate him, or do I just? Well, let me take. Let me take the guard out. I'm gonna take the guard out. How many guards you got? It's only one. So as long as I don't do it in front of another guard, it's all good. <sighs> what the fuck you throw a knife for? Oh, they're with them. Oh uh, well, well you're getting robbed one way or another. Hey, come here, shotty. Oh boy. Ooh, I lost her. Come here, I just need to talk to you. Come here. People need to also realize every project doesn't need to be an hour. Yeah, I'll take 10 good songs over fucking a million. I'm really in my duffy. Well, I just made the whole city mad. Because of that double assassination ability, I didn't realize that shit was gonna go up. The goal is to steal the key. I'm getting close. Oh, I killed her. Oh. Oh. oh, I got the key. I just gotta kill them. No problem. Shitting my face. I don't know. So collected. Oh. This combat is so ass. Hold up, yo. Gotta really put in work. We're gonna force you to do stealth by making the combat ass. Yeah, whatever. Alright, uh. I robbed her. Didn't give me what I needed, though. This nigga broke his ankle trying to attack him. A lot of people are trying to sound like the next guy. Yeah, I watched a really good video too. Dude was kind of saying something similar to what I was saying in my video. Where um, it was the wrong person. Oh, uh, well, I didn't do synchronize, so whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking. I was about to say. Um. He was just talking about how, like, he feels like he, Drake is in a midlife crisis. He's the same thing I was saying. They're like, bro, what are you rapping about? Like, you're just yapping. That bloodshed was oh, I wasn't supposed to kill anybody. Can I restart the contract? <laughs> I just got... I just shit. That he lost his essence. It's just a um it's a case I think you you live long enough to become the villain. Like he's so rich that uh you know he doesn't think about it. But uh Adonis is lit though. Don't talk to my man like that. I like it when you like it. what the fuck are you throwing knives? Whatever, bro, I killed somebody. 
money for fun. Drake's done. I don't want to say he's done. I think maybe he needs to take a break. Have a nice little reset. I think the next album will be more... I think this album proved like, yo, bro, take a break. You're dropping too much music. The next album, if he comes... Because he said he's going to take at least a year off. Honestly, take two years off. Take a couple years off. Relax, go explore, travel. It's hard to be inspired when you're constantly working. Go do something that inspires you. And he's probably going to come back and drop something good. Well, hopefully, I would hope. If not, he's cooked. Everybody everybody has their, uh, their down period. I'm just supposed to... Take the key from him. He's taking a break now due to BBL complications. What? What are you talking about, bro? We already killed everybody, so. Good to see you. You know, might as well just go for it. Don't talk to me. Help yourselves to refreshments. I insist. I like it when you like it. Hey. The key is plus. Now I'm to my pride. To my man like that. I really should attend more parties. Uh, like get when you, uh reach where? These long albums need to stop. It's because they're chasing stream numbers. It's easier to acquire more record sales if you put more songs on your album. So they're just, people are inflating their albums. But I feel like the problem with that is I'm like, yo, if your album is really that good, if it's only 10 songs, people are going to listen to it over and over, which is going to inflate your numbers. So if you just focus on making a quality product, they're going to listen to the music over and over, you know? I guess it's just easier to make a bunch of shitty songs. Oh my fucking God. What is this game doing? That's why J. Cole and Kendrick over because they take time with their craft. Yeah, I seen a comment on my review. And because I said I said something, I said I put Kendrick and Cole over um Drake at this point in terms of the big three. Um, because they same thing, they take their time with their albums. And uh did I lose them? Somebody replied and made the rebuttal that Drake and Cole. This is such a Drake. Hold on, I gotta fight these dudes. Fucking, get off my dick, man. Oh, come on. Don't let him escape. Yeah, whatever. Okay, back to what I was saying. Um, this is such a dick rider comment. He was saying that uh, Kendrick and Cole need Drake because Drake, since Drake drops more often, um, it hides the fact that they don't drop enough or something like that. I'm like, what? What does that got to do with the quality of the music? What are you talking about? Like, bro, if he dropped less, he'd probably drop more. But he'd probably drop better music. Like, what are you talking about? Like, what kind of OVO goony shit? Like, <laughs> the OVO goons. I don't know. It's barred from the other side. They're all barred. Like, yeah, I don't know if I agree with that one, man. That's not how creativity works. There's got to be a way out of here. Besides that door. Hmm. Guess not. I feel like the same thing with music is happening with a bunch of people on the internet. There's this interviewer that just popped up. Her name is Bobby uh, something, but he recently had an interview with Offset and she has no personality. She just cooked her the whole interview. Wait, what does that have to do with anything? I, I just feel like we live in this fast food era right now and um, it, it's a bubble that eventually is going to burst. Things can't keep going this way. People need substance. Party music is good too, but there's got to be a balance because like everybody who doesn't like a good party song, you know. Yeah, let Adonis drop an album, man. Don't talk like, don't talk to me like that. Part twenty-five. Got a matron token. Everything feels like it's coming and going straight up. We need to get into there. How do I get into there is the question. Adonis versus Lil Mouse beef would be crazy. You do know that Lil Mouse is a grown man, right? He got shot. 
Like he really a street going now. He's not. He's like he's not a mouse anymore. He's a full blown rat. Not like a snitch, but you know what I mean. In your brain, he's still twelve, but little mouse is a grown man. Look up, little mouse. Rolling off a pill, drill, drill. Uh, fuck around with them, fuck around. You gonna fuck around and get smoked? Oh, fuck around with them, fuck around. You gonna? I lost them. Fuck around with them, fuck around. You gonna fuck around and get smoked? Fuck around, with them, fuck around. You gonna? Come on. Where did he go? Assassin's Creed UI, ladies and gentlemen. Lil Tech is probably a better match. Lil Tech's music, I listened to his album. It's cool. It's got nice transitions in it, but once you get past the transitions, he ain't saying nothing either. Hey! Catchy but forgettable music. So much for staying here. Yeah, whatever, bro. I'm killing everybody at this. Point. I, I I fucked up once. I didn't read the contract. I'm your friend. Keep at it. I don't know how to get into this place. Are we going down now? Are you singing Young Young Pappy? I haven't heard Young Pappy in a long time. R.I.P. Young Pappy. Real street shit. Ah, here we go. Gospel hip hop's with more of a pull now. Gospel hip hop. What's a gospel hip hop artist? I know there's like uh, Christian drill where they spin on the devil. <laughs> They're listening to that Christian drill. A lot of that should be hard. Never stop spinning on a devil. Time to vanish. How the fuck? This man be bricking knives, man. I kill all the goddamn guards. Is that connected? Etio would never. That's what I'm saying. Like, this man be. I unlocked an ability that's completely useless. This man be throwing knives and missing. Is that connected? Uh -huh. Awkward. I have oh, we're done here. Yeah. Collecting more souls, baby. I'm still trying to figure out, meanwhile, how to get in here. Oh, is this the way? <laughs> we found a way. Give me that. Hey, Blacks and Gaming. <laughs> Shout out to all the Blacks and Gaming. Yeah, I seen Jada used to sell crack. At this point, she's just talking for attention. Uh, one second, y'all. Let me look at this. Uh. Who y'all think is the strongest assassin? Are we talking about like straight brute strength? Probably Cassandra. Uh, I don't think it's close. She literally is a god. <laughs> Yeah, shout out to Jada selling crack. I think what we're witnessing with her is she's like having a midlife crisis. She's hallucinating about all the things with Tupac. For some reason, at the age of like 50, she needs to let everybody know she sold crack. Like, baby girl, that was back in 93. What does that got to do with anything right now? Like, you know how long ago that was? Listen, we love to throw we love to throw that word around loser when it comes to men. What point are we gonna start throwing it around for others? 
I seen a TikTok earlier. I was scrolling on the toilet. It was a live stream. And it was like a group of women. Basically, they, they, they had this whole conspiracy. They were saying, is, is Jada Pickett really um, at fault or is Will Smith a secret narcissist? And they had this whole conspiracy about how like Will Smith was a narcissist that's driving her crazy. And I'm like, hey, yo, I'm like, yo, these chicks will do everything but take accountability. Like, like why y'all defend her so hurt so, so damn hard? A lot of fem cells making podcasts now. I'm telling you, ban the mics from everybody. Ban the mics from everybody. He said both can be true. Both can be true. The problem with that argument is that's based off of nothing. But you know what is factual? The things that she's going around saying about Tupac. And this nigga's been dead for 30 years. That's the problem with the argument. So you cannot defend that shit at all. You're literally just talking. Like, what if he's a narcissist and da 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 It's like these chicks figured out the word narcissism and they're just running with it. <laughs> the new word of the week is head asses. That's the problem with it. But if there was like some actual evidence there, then, you know, then I'm not going to debate it. Be like, bro, you guys just refuse to believe this bitch is evil. <laughs> A nice piece of work, but I have no time for idle admiration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, write, write that letter to Tupac. <laughs> I seen somebody tweet Tupac dodged a bullet with Jada Pickett <laughs> and I laughed and then I seen somebody reply to that and say no he didn't I'm like all right bro <laughs> I'm like I gotta fucking chill bro <laughs> let that let okay we let Tupac rest in peace we're, we're yo let me let me put it in perspective because we've reached a point where like Half the chat probably wasn't even alive when Tupac was popping. This woman is still talking about that, man, bro. Am I going to throw the knife? Am I going to hit him? Okay, we actually got him that time. Jump, jump, the house is jumping. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Jump, jump. I bricked? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Killed all of them. Now he's going to turn around and act like he didn't see anything. Uh, some of these people that weren't alive, Tupac was big. When Tupac was big, are having kids now. That's what I'm saying. Like niggas know Tupac from a T-shirt at H and M. Didn't actually listen to his music. I get around. Jump, 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 jump. Let's see if they let me pickpocket him. Jump, jump. All right, we got that. Facts, I seen a teen with a Wu Tang shirt on, and I was like, no way she knows who that is. Yeah, no way. They just wearing shit because it looks cool. Oh, there's an assassin looking for me right there. Hey, stop. No. Now what? I don't like rap, but I like Tupac is a very common saying from people who don't know nothing about Pac. That's a very interesting phrase, because like if you say you don't like rap, but you like Tupac, that means you don't listen to Tupac. Because if you say you don't like rap, I'm 100 percent positive it's because they don't like the thug gangster genre. And I'm like, that's the guy that really brought the whole thug. The nigga had it on his damn stomach tattoo thug life. Like, what are you talking about, man? You, you didn't listen to Tupac. <laughs> I think I got a song called I Get Around. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think that was about? Ubering? There was no Uber back then. I think it was fucking. <laughs> they like Tupac interviews. Uh, they be romanticizing people. Oh, I finished it, but. It's got to be about him, yeah, riding in his favorite taxi brand. <laughs> like, no, bro, ham. What the fuck are you talking about? 
Uh, Alright, we got two skill points. No, I don't want to go to the damn Microsoft store. Okay, what we got? Airstrike slows down time while aiming with throwing knives in midair. My thing is, why not just assassinate him? Why would I want that? Uh, add two additional chunks to the focus bar. Oh, say less. See, that, that's more useful. Yeah, we said at the police too. Yeah, they don't, they don't know what they be talking. What fuck is just be talking, bro? There's something golden we gotta rob over here. Let's go see what that is. Cause you can throw knives at their head mid air to assassinate. Uh, fancy. Excuse me. Excuse me. New contracts are available. Let's go. I need to get robbed. You can get five to six kills at once with it. Oh, so it's like super slow when you jump in the air. Who the fuck did I throw a knife at? Uh, I found who I'm supposed to rob because he saw me kill somebody. At least I think. No, that's not who I was supposed to rob. When you use the uh, double assassination, does it use up your knives? Or is it just an auto animation? Um, we gotta join over here, speak to an old friend. Reach that barrel, let's track that giant. Yes? What's yes? It uses your knives up? Can't do it without a knife. Boo. Oh, we're using my knives up for no reason. I'm a little mad at people my age and younger saying something like Usher shouldn't be the halftime performer. He's going to be weak. What, Gen V people are saying that? That's wild. Usher will definitely go in the Hall of Fame, like the Music Hall of Fame, or the. Why do they call it the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? When are we, when, when are we gonna change that? Yeah, that's that's a wild statement. They just never listen to Usher. Like, uh... stop you! I know that face. I should drop like three classic albums. They're bugging. I remember that song. Yeah, yeah, that shit had the. Early 2000s in a choke. I remember, I remember when I was in middle school. That's when, was it Confessions? That's when Confessions dropped. There was this little chocolate joint that used to go to my, it's like the YMCA I used to go to. A lot of kids used to go there from different schools. And there was this little fine chocolate joint, bro. They used to go there. I was in love with her, bro. I was in fucking love with her, too. <sighs> she went to private school. She went to private school. So that was the only way I... That's the only reason I ever met her. Because she went to the same YMCA as me. She loved Usher, bro. All she would do is talk about I'm like, why don't you talk about me? Stop talking about that nigga, bro. <laughs> Got a little bird. These are my confessions. Like, them jokes. Them jokes that, like, Usher taking your girl. That shit is real. That nigga will take your bitch, bro. He still can and will. I've seen it firsthand. He took the love of my life in middle school. Wasn't even trying. Stop talking about him, bro. I'm over here pouring my heart out to you. Didn't matter. I didn't have my bands up. Oh, there's a there's a synchronization point right there. I'm gonna go get it. I did not have my bands up. Yeah, I'm not going to jail and getting anally raped because you want to listen to Usher. That's real shit. Is this where one of the assassins trainers? They even made a Boondocks episode about it. Folks is just not in tune with with music like that. One thing I noticed, like with like the, and I, and I could be wrong. I don't want to generalize. I could be wrong. Maybe y'all can speak to this because there's some younger people in the chat. But I felt like when I was a kid, like I would go into like um, rabbit holes of music. Like I would be introduced to like one artist, and then it made me want to go listen to like a bunch of different artists. There's times where I still go down rabbit holes on YouTube 
listening to like eighties and like seventies music and stuff. And correct me if I'm wrong, but it doesn't really feel like Gen Z does that shit. They're just like you're old. Now, like to me, good music is good music. It doesn't really matter what era it, it is. Cause I mean, what other what other what other reason would you get that statement? Why is Usher doing the halftime show? Like, <laughs> yeah. Confessions is I in terms of like top one hundred albums, that that's probably one of my favorites. Confessions is a classic album, bro. It's a classic album. Like, what are you talking about, dude? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember when Ludacris was a rapper. Uh, I was born in 2001 and I explored music the same way. Granted, I have older. Yeah, I think it, you know what it is. I think it's based off maybe like your influences. Cause yeah, I had older parents. I mean, that's the only, well, everybody's parents are older. Uh, I think that's the only reason I was into like Prince. Uh, Cause I, I, there's like certain artists, like somebody's got to put you on. You don't just start listening to Prince. I feel like everybody just starts listening to Michael Jackson at some point. Like somebody put you on it, but you, not everybody gets put on to everything. You know what I'm saying? That's why I be trying to put y'all on the Bobby Brown. My girl thought it was funny that like I liked Bobby Brown so much, but the more we started to conversate, the more we started to discover things, she started to realize she was a fan. Like I remember one time I caught her singing, Mr. Telephone Man, there's something wrong with my line. I'm like, that's funny. She's like, what? I love that song. She's like, what's funny about it? I love that song. I'm like, you're singing fucking Bobby Brown. She's like, no, I'm not. I was like, I, and I was like, who sings that? She's like, I don't know, but because she's younger than me. She's like, I don't know, but I know you Bobby Brown. Pulled up the fucking video. I was like, this is new edition. I was like, this is the group Bobby Brown was in before he went solo. I was like, that's him dancing like a crackhead right there. What? I was like, you've been a fan this whole time. You didn't even know. <laughs> There was another song, the same exact conversation happened. Um, oh, I think it was, um, it had to do with like Sonic. Because a lot of Sonic music from the 90s was influenced by um, Bobby Brown. I was like, you know, that's Bobby, right? I was like, I tried, I had a whole conversation with her about this shit. I'm like, because you guys are not old enough to remember this. There is a reason why Bobby Brown pulled Whitney Houston. There's a reason why Bobby was that nigga at one point. He got strung out. We know. <laughs> but he was the biggest motherfucker in the world. You don't pull Whitney Houston by accident. You said both are by both are crazy. That's I think that's part of the reason crazy attract crazy, but <laughs> you know. Michael Jackson made music for Sonic. No, no, I know Michael Jackson made music. Everybody knows Michael Jackson made music for Sonic. That's a known fact. But a lot of Sonic's music was influenced by Bobby Brown. You can hear it in some of the beats. But yeah, like keep an open mind. Try some good shit, bro. Try some good shit. I found this uh this country song from TikTok with a brother in it. His name is like Sploozy or some shit like that. It was kind of fire. It has some 808s in it. I was like, what? I said, black folks taking over country? Oh, boy. It's over. Does anybody know what song I'm talking about? Dark skin brother with dreads. Motherfucker was in the middle of the street dan dancing and shit. Splooge? No, 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 no. It's something with an S. Eh? Sounds familiar. Somebody call Nelly. Somebody call Nelly. <laughs> trying to figure out how the fuck to get up here. Do I like the Fujis? Um, yeah, I like them. Would I call myself like a super fan? Nah, but they're cool. I'm not gonna lie, off the walls, top ten MJ songs of all time. Absolutely, the whole album. Matter of fact, like, and this is why, like, like, it's a cool accomplishment, but, like, I've seen people, like, talking about it on Twitter, like, the whole Drake thing, because, like, Drake broke, well, he tied Michael Jackson for, like, most number one singles. I'm like, Michael had to actually sell singles. It's not the same thing. And even still, sales don't equate to talent. 
but even still it's all arbitrary it's all it's all inflated we know people be buying views he lives in the stream era it's not the same thing and this is coming from somebody who's a drake fan but like the fact i even see people arguing that drake's on the same level as michael jackson is fucking insane first of all i don't care what nobody says some people say take care is i disagree drake does not have a classic album in my opinion um he has a lot of really good albums that are almost there. I feel like nothing was the same, was almost there. But in my opinion, he still lacks a classic album. From Off the Wall to Bad, those three albums alone, Off the Wall, Thriller, Bad, shit on Drake's entire catalog. That nigga sings Beat It. I, nigga, I'm getting up, I'm dancing. Views is definitely a classic. I think this is a generational thing. Views is not a classic. It's got songs on it I like. Oh, not a classic. I don't know. Yeah, classic. I feel like the word classic gets thrown around way too much, man. Like, if you want to debate me on take care, like, I'll give people take care. Even nothing is the same. But I still don't feel... I, I feel like the fact that we're even having to debate it, that's how you know it's not classic. Say, go walk in a barbershop and tell niggas Thriller is not a classic. You're going to get beat up. <laughs> <laughs> go in there go go walk in the barbershop and say drake don't got a classic album you might have some people to be like what are you talking about but nobody's gonna be upset go say that about michael jackson you get beat up it, and that's what i mean like he's got debatably arguable or like classics but he still doesn't have that one where you heard it and it's like yeah that one's gonna stand the test of time you feel what i'm saying you ready to go outside you ready to go pp yeah, old heads ain't gonna let you out there. You're gonna get yoked up. Y'all remember when JoJo Simmons got yoked up by um what's the old boy's name? Uh remember when he was talking shit about the dip set? JoJo Simmons, uh Rev Run's son from Run's house. You remember that picture where he got yoked? Let me see if I can find that shit. That shit funny, bro. Hold on. Let's uh <laughs> Let me be petty for a moment here. That's this is what's gonna happen to you. This is what's gonna happen to you. Let's see. JoJo Simmons yoked up. There he goes, Dad. That's it right there. He was talking shit about like the dip set or something. And one of the dip set, yeah, Joel Santana's homeboy yoked his ass up. This is some, this is an early 2000s meme right here. And, and he made, he made, he, this thing caught him on the street. If you don't know this story, hold on, let's see, I can see the picture. If you don't know the story, this is Rev Run's son right here from Run's house. He was talking shit about Joel Santana from Dipset. One of Joel's homies caught him on the street. Grabbed this nigga by the collar and made him call Joel Santana to apologize. This is an OG 2000s meme. This shit was fucking funny when this shit happened, bro. He said, this is a history lesson. This is an original funny meme, bro. I think I believe there's a video of this shit, too. Now, the reason I bring this shit up is because, like I said, walk into a barbershop and tell niggas off the wall or Thriller is not a classic. They're going to pull you by your fucking collar and say, shut the fuck up, bro. You can't. No, that ass, after this had happened, he quit being a rapper. Because he used to be a rapper. They got his ass on camera getting yoked up. He said, nah, this ain't for me, man. <laughs> hey, but look, I respect it, though. I respect it. I respect it. That's a history lesson, hip-hop history lesson. I respect it. He said, man, I'm about to go do some corporate shit. <sighs> Let me stop thugging. I'm not really like that. <laughs> so I'm not really like that. So that's why we never saw him again. Jokes aside, that's part of the reason, yeah. His ass got yoked the fuck up. That's why you gotta be careful. There's people out here really that live in that shit. You put out a certain type of energy, you gotta be careful, bro. If you're not like that, man, chill out. And I know most of you niggas is not like that, bro. So chill out, bro. It's nothing wrong with going to work, having a nine to five. The wolves out here. <laughs> I was joking, ass. Right, 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 right. Um, but that shit is fucking. That shit is fucking funny, man. Preacher son trying to be tough, right? Is the Carter Three the last classic hip hop album? No. The Carter Three. First of all, I don't even think the Carter Three is classic. I think all the songs that should have been on the Carter Three would have made the album a classic. Like the stuff. What was that? All the mixtapes. Remember, like his shit kept leaking. Like that was a hip hop moment right there. This nigga Lil Wayne could not put that album out because his shit kept leaking. What was all the mixtapes called? Um. Where Wayne's album kept leaking. Like, yeah, like no ceilings. Yeah, that type of shit. That stuff is classic. Dedication. Yeah, dedication too. Yeah, I remember that shit. What about Forest Hills 2014? Um, 
Yeah, I would say that's class. That's 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 Cole's one classic album. I feel like, yeah, I think everybody fucks with Forest Hills 2014. Sorry for the wait, but the actual album with Lil Wayne that he actually put out, there's songs on that I liked, but I wouldn't have called it a classic. The Carter Two, I would say, I fucked with the Carter Two because the Carter Three had that shit. Um, ooh, wee, wee, wee. Carter Three, and this is obvious. Uh, look at that shit. <laughs> Boo! That shit was boo when I was in high school. It's boo now. Wee, wee, wee. This is awesome. like nah, that ain't it. That is not it. Uh, I keep running around in circles. Let me fucking get to this objective. Good kid, Mad City is a class. I would say Good Kid, Mad City, and the Pimple Butterfly are classics. I, I I really like both of those albums. Where the fuck is the objective on the actual thing? Hmm. And then I would give, uh, yeah, 24. I'm reporting this stream for hate speech. I'm still waiting for that album. Is Damn a classic? Off the top of my head. I don't really remember many songs from Damn. I would have to listen to that again. What up, though, Kai? Nah, Damn is really good, but not classic. I remember the ending to Damn being fire, but I don't remember the whole album. That's why I said off the top of the head, I would say no. But I could be wrong. I would have to listen to it again. But you see how, like, somebody came in the chat and they was like, what about Forest Hills 24? I definitely said yes. Like, if you can't definitely give an answer, I don't feel like it's a classic. No. But then again, it's all subjective. It's all art. As long as you're picking something respectful. That's why I said, if you want to argue for take care or nothing is the same... I'm not going to argue you down. I'm just saying, personally, Drake doesn't have a classic for me. I'm strictly talking about my opinion. And then there are some opinions that are universal. Because, like I said, we talking about Thriller. You better, not, you better not slander PYT. Look how many rappers have sampled PYT. They still sampling it. I feel like um, For All the Dogs should have been a classic. And I talked about it in my video a little bit. I cannot find the fucking objective. I feel like he really missed the mark to produce a because I feel like I feel like what, what Drake is missing is like a good concept album. That's why that's why um Forest Hill Drives or um To Pimple Butterfly or Good Kid Mad City. Actually to um to Pimple Butterfly and Good Kid Mad City are actually great examples. Those are both concept albums. I feel like Drake is missing that album that has like a cohesive thought process and like sound. He just makes a lot of really good singles. And I felt like For All the Dogs could have been a classic because that's a fucking, first of all, that's a great title for an album. That was, And I think that's why people got hyped for it. Because in my brain, when I heard For All the Dogs, I swear to God, we have the best conversations when I play Assassin's Creed. In my brain, when I hear For All the Dogs, I thought it was going to be a concept album speaking on the highs and lows of being a man and dating. That's what I got from it. And then, like, it starts off with you being, like, like an innocent boy. Eventually, you get your heart broken in, like, middle or high school. Then you become a fucking dog, like, in the middle of the album. That's when, like, your bangers come in. And then at the end, maybe there's, like, some positive message there, especially because he's 36 of what he's learned and he's got a kid. Um, you would have thought, I feel like, I feel like it was just there on the table. Just take your time with it. I feel like that's why I said he doesn't really have, like, a classic album for me. I'm waiting for that 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 proper concept. Yeah, we really talk. Yeah, I really listen to music, by the way. I really listen to music, if you can't tell. I'm the type of person, I'll listen to the same album all month. I felt that Joe Budden was kind of right in his criticism. I, I His criticism was correct. The, the issue with what Joe Budden did, and then when you criticize people, you have to be very careful if you want to get into this business. Joe Budden led with emotion. That nigga was yelling. And the unfortunate reality is, is when you yell... People tend to not listen. Uh, they only hear the emotion. They don't hear the message. It was the delivery. It doesn't mean that it was wrong. But if, you're, if your actual goal is to get across to people, you got to learn how to talk to people. But I did, I did agree with it. Because like at the end of the day, Drake wrote a whole paragraph basically calling this nigga a bum. You're not allowed to criticize me. I'm richer than you. And I said it in my video. I'm like, look, his critique of your album was it sounds like you're a little out of touch. You're getting older. We want to hear something different from you. And your response is, I'm richer than you. That sounds like you're out of touch. Like, it was a fair criticism. Skirt. God damn, nigga. 
This motherfucker, this motherfucker heard his day of shit. You got it. Yeah, you got to evolve. And then that's when I brought up, I brought up Nas. I'm like, Nas is 50, and Nas is putting out some of the best work that he's put out in a while. Shout out to Majin Quinn with the sub. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, he literally proved his point. The issue is that Drake's got so many OVO goonies and fanboys. They're not gonna, they're not gonna hear it out. That actual criticism. Okay, we found it. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna have to take my dog out in a minute. Ah. TBH is an a &R. I just generally love music. Bassem, you startled me. I was just enjoying some poetry. Oh, who's the court poet? Sayida Arib. Rod Wave album what? thoughts? I don't, I've, I've never listened to a Rod Wave album, and I never will. Uh, yes. That nigga's too sad for me. I, have read her work. I don't want to hear that shit. My friend Nihal the same, the same way I don't want to hear drill music. When we were young. Like, nigga, you I sad all the time? Friend. Reading of gods and jinn. He's rich now. I always enjoyed this. What are you sad about? The house of wisdom is not what it once was. Hmm. Is not our friend Ahmad ibn Musa there? He went to his workshop, as I recall. Yes. I sent a message for him to come and help set up this bureau, but he never replied. Never replied. My spies could not contact him. A week has passed, and he cannot be found. So. One of he's sick because he's fat. Yo, chill. Chill, chill, chill. Yes. Venture there and learn his fate. It shall be done. Thoughts on Westside Gunsy project? I have not listened to it. I, you just reminded really me I do need to listen to that, though. I need to listen to that shit. Does Childish Gambino have a classic album? It's a good question. I feel like I gotta listen to his shit again. I, I, I remember I did like Because of the Internet and Awaken My Love. I, I wanna say it's Awaken My Love. What's the one with the, um, Daylight? I remember I liked that album a lot. If so, I would say that one, but I gotta listen to his shit again. I haven't listened to him in a while. That's a good question. I, would, I feel like I gotta go back and listen to him again. I'm inching towards yes, though. I'm inching towards yes. I do remember really loving because of the internet, and uh, and that 